Okay, guys, I want to talk a little bit about today's update real quick and uh, try to make it short. Uh, anyway, I like today's update. There's some great stuff on here. Real quick to go over the blueprints that are going to be coming out in the Forsaken mission. Uh, you got the Fallout Armor 3, uh, 1, 2, and 3, excuse me. So there'd be one, you know, in each tier. Uh, I like this armor. Uh, it's no different than the aloe armor that you have where you have the explosive missile and ballistic. You're just take, taking out the ballistic and you're putting radioactive defense. Uh, I, yeah, I know it doesn't have the radioactive defense, but here's the thing. Radio, uh, ballistic uh, can be with evade. A lot of top-end bases don't use ballistic. A lot of people you know, use very little ballistic or no ballistic at all. Uh, there's other ways to counter it depending on how you put your armor on and so forth. Okay. Uh, the only thing, just be mindful, it does increase the total weight. Uh, MC, like MC3 and stuff is 12%. Tw uh, this is 14%. Uh, the new armor, yes, it's got a lot of armor points. And yes, it weighs a lot. But again, there's ways around that. So I'll explain that here in a second. The, the new thrower. It's the fleet, the fleet version of the magma thrower. Again, I like it. Uh, there's some stuff down there. Obviously, there's more stuff down below the combat speed, which is great, and it gives a 5% combat sp speed. I'm waiting to see what this is going to look like in shipyard on my stingrays, because I may really have to work on stingrays getting to R10. Uh, I don't have any other uh, b ballistic fleets, like you know, SEX or anything, but really and honestly guys I will tell you I like these you're just gonna have to get into the shipyard and figure out uh, your builds I like them the fact is that I might be you know I might be able to bring back depending on how I use this armor and this aloe armor this new fallout armor uh, maybe my DNXs will come back I never knew uh, so anyway, you're just gonna have to to make some uh, make some decisions and look, depending on what new holes are coming out, what old holes you have, if they're worth refitting or so forth and so on. Uh, anyway, to kind of give you an idea about that new armor because it weighs so much is this: I used the Kodiak as an example. It's got five uh, armor. If I use four D3Es and use one of those new armors. I get a total weight of 2,103 pounds, okay, and a total armor of 17,902. Now these are all rough numbers. It's just me using a calculator trying to figure out the numbers, okay. If I was to put all E2s, my total weight would be 1,659, and my armor point would be 15,902, okay. If I used all E5 armor on here, 2,445, 17,755 pounds. Okay, uh, so you can play around in there based on how you want to build it, and you might get it. I look at it right now with this, you know, E3 armors 2103. I get a little bit more armor than I do with all E5s, and I get less weight. Just be mindful there are specials out there that re that re that will increase your armor weight, so you have to take that into account also. Uh, this is you know, uh, there, that armor gives you no special defense other than it just gives you a huge amount of armor points. I'm looking at it as being a great thing on certain holes and certain builds or if not all depending on how I can get the build to, rock, to go because the reavers, uh, the dredge, dredge fleets, you get more armor, stay live a little longer, maybe do one or two before you have to repair. Second thing, for those that don't know that, don't keep up with it, the uh, Drag bases are going to change at some point this year, and so are the um, weekly missions are going to change at some point this year. I would expect them to have a lot of the tech that you've seen in the last six months in the raids that you've been doing, so cryo fields and stuff like that. So this also could be a nice uh, with more armor uh, on that one again with your builds fluctuate in the sense it's all going to be about the build time on that one. I'm ex I would expect it probably be like a four day build 
but be mindful. Remember, you know, like an E2 armor is nine hours. So whereas a, you know, E5 is almost two days. So you can cut it down a little, cut your build time down a little bit. But that's where you need to play with it and figure it out, and because you could probably reduce some of your build time. Okay. Uh, you know that new thrower talking about it uh, again I, I want to see it in I want to see it this stuff so I can play around with it inside of uh, the shipyard for sh uh, with Huggy because just rough estimate you know if I put those two huge armors out there 6397 you know for both two of them I mean, my armor points and my stingrays will jump up to you know almost 14 and a half thousand that's a lot of armor for a stingray. You got SEXs or something like that. You know, uh, it just depends um, based on what its base armor is. And I'll just take a look at it real quick. What an SEX is. Um, there you are. You know, base armor on an SEX is for you know 4,500. So you add another twelve thousand to it. Now you got your SEXs that can battle, you know, up to seventeen thousand armor on a fleet to fleet. So you guys that have SEXs, this could be a good little uh, fleet for you. Again, you just got to play around with it, guys, because now instead of having uh, necessary five in the fleet, maybe you can look at it and drop it down to four. You last just as long in a battle. So just uh, kind of think think of that okay that uh, so you just you're going to have to play around you're going to have to take a look at it I compared that um, that new fallout armor to an MCX uh, 3 you know that I normally run uh, the only difference major wise is that you get um, uh, plus 12 on MCX3, you get this, you get plus 14 with this. Um, the other thing is, you know, if you're running, uh, like I run um, reflective coating on my uh, go back to find it. I run reflector coating and mine are R7. So you add that with my reflective coating, my uh, radioactive defense just climbed through the roof. So it really is going to make you think uh, what you can get and what certain fleets, again, like I said, can be a little bit more uh, viable. That thrower, again, like I said, uh, it's just depending... You know, I'm using the diplomats here to kind of show you, based on the weight, what all I can get on here, uh, you know, as far as you know, just if I was to fill it out like this with those throwers, there is no um, there's nothing that can make the range or anything like that uh, on any of these. Uh, long barrels don't work uh, or anything like that. So, <clears throat> you know, you just put auto loader on here and inc increase the, the reload time. But, um, but that's about it. I mean, you're not going to get, I don't even know if auto loader will work. If I'm not mistaken, auto load it works just for ballistics. I may be wrong on that one, but um, take a look at it. Yeah, it's ballistic reload, and these are considered. I'm sure they're those are considered those, but the thrower is just not going to help uh, on that. But the um, again, you can you got room here to put two of those new uh, uh, armors on there, 
and you know you don't need can't can't increase the range with uh, hardened barrels or anything so you might as well take that off you know now you just you can evade the shit out of this thing and uh, you know for defense and give it some speed and you know if you got those four throws on, on here you know you get some increased speed on it so again just some ideas just kind of give you an idea of what you're seeing today and, and actually how good this uh, update is the downside is going to be is is how long it takes to build some of this stuff that uh, radioactive aloe armor I would say it probably going to be uh, just a little longer than your D5X which takes 10 hours uh, and 26 minutes to put that on so since it's got radioactive it's probably going to be just a little over a day so some of your fleets can be some quick refits just by adding this stuff in and making some changes to them you know especially, especially for your base hitters uh, so something to think about guys if you got anything that can uh, add to this got more info or some other hints or something like that that can help please post it up uh, and pass it along it's the only way we're going to make ourselves better and improve uh, our alliance okay guys thanks and later